From out, releases back to the wing back there. He's wearing number five, John and Reddick, good block down there by Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan, the man from Cremon. Puts toward a hand, plays the ball across here onto this far side of the field. Being picked up here and pr uh, pressurised there by the Cremon man wearing number six. Give me back to Sean O'Sullivan again. Sean O'Sullivan has the ball over here on the stand side of the field. Plays inside, throws it on the coach. The ball inside, gives it back inside. Good ball, Sean O'Sullivan on the run. He's so strong on the run. The referee, Donny O'Connor, pulls him up there. I think the pass to the ball there to his centre half forward there, Paul P. O'Sullivan. Come on, coming forward again. Come on, have the ball. Bring it back to Sean O'Sullivan. Way out left foot. It clips the ball inside here to Clinton Griffin. Very hard. A small club kick out coming out towards the good kick out from Liam Walsh. Ball picked up by Sean O'Sullivan. Over on the terrace side of the field. He comes into the centre. He's looking to give the ball off to Column Jai. Column Jai coming back. Very wise old hell is it. Column, Column Jai. Sean O'Sullivan left foot. He plays the ball inside. Try to shield it by uh, Clinton Griffin. But the, the correct position where to be taken when leading the day like today, I think a yard or two. It won't make that big difference. Clips it inside towards the centre. Going down it there. It's the centre half hour there, Paul Pio. Difficult enough kick uh, against the breeze, but Sean, no, yes, that's the first score of the game, John. Sent in and over the bar, the first score of the game for Cremon by Sean O'Sullivan. Need the, the wing forward there, John Paul McCarthy. Sean O'Sullivan picks up the ball again. Sean O'Sullivan travelling. This is one of his great attributes. Pace for that's well done by the belly done the hoop player there. Well done by Peter O'Reilly has the ball. Peter O'Reilly giving it to Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan, the high ball really over towards the far side of indeed. He will get it against Sean O'Sullivan. Going inside. Pace from Sean O'Sullivan. This is inside for Sean O'Sullivan. He's on the racing for this one. Ball, he traps the ball inside on the inline, gives it back out to Clinton Griffin. Gives the ball back out to Clinton Griffin. Driving the ball across to the far side of the field for Sean O'Sullivan. If he can get the ball, he certainly will cause them trouble. Plays inside, so Sean Walsh. Sean Walsh being hard pressed there. Number two there for Cremon. Pulling on it there is James Foley. The ball still in possession there. Over on the far side of the field. The Cremon and Sean O'Sullivan. Denny, Niall Denny, he actually, the number 14, has the ball. He gives the ball across into the far side of the field to Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan into Donica Walsh right through the centre. A minute to half time, Sean O'Sullivan, this 45 metre kick, chips it in towards the post. Up there, Iceford, done the go in under it. Well punched there by James Foley. Ball picked up there by Francis Casey. He does well. He releases the ball to Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan hasn't been able to get on his bike, as we say, so far. Ball going inside, punched out there by the Cremorman there. The Cremorman there, number six, Peter O'Reilly. Sean O'Sullivan going down the ball over on the far side of the field on the 21, releases the ball back inside. 2 0 no Foley, no Foley giving back out here. Going at a furious pace, really, and really strong breeze helping Sean O'Sullivan with this kick. But as I said, sometimes the wind can be a bit of a hindrance when you're kicking the ball. Sean O'Sullivan, will it call enough? It looks at it as it's gone straight high and over the bar from about 53 or 54 yards out. Sean O'Sullivan has put come on level in the start of the second half. Four points for Cremon. The ball plays the ball across. Cremon sliding there. Paul P. O'Sullivan gives it to Sean O'Sullivan. He chips it up, reminiscing the Tiggy line. He's going inside. And really, this man has been well marked though, by the number five. John Enright has done quite a good job on Sean O'Sullivan so far, making him play the ball out towards the sideline on the far side of the field. Still Sean O'Sullivan. Ball picking up, drives it inside now towards. And loose there, Noel O'Reilly. Yeah, Noel O'Reilly does well. Mops up in defence and gives it out here to Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan. Ball, clips the ball down along the line again. Good ball inside. Column Jai trying to hold off out here to the far side. Clear the way over here now. Sean O'Sullivan trying to read the ball. Sean O'Sullivan being marked there by John Enright. Still Sean O'Sullivan plays a long ball inside. And indeed the referee has called up the play there. He's saying for a pull there back on the number five. Ball punched forward there by Peter O'Reilly. Being picked up Michael Tehan, the man who got Cremont's last score. What a beautiful point about Sean O'Sullivan. Over the ball. Free quickly taken to Michael Tehan. Michael Tehan. Leasing the ball to John O'Sullivan. He's coming over the 50-yard line. Gives the ball inside to Sean O'Sullivan. Back to Michael T. And out to John O'Sullivan again. Coming forward again for Cremon. They drive the ball forward. Out to Sean O'Sullivan. No man. He gives it inside. Bad pass there, really. Going astray. Francis Casey to Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan gives it to Colin Jai. The Aston Stacks Park. 14 and a half minutes of the second half of this county now. Football final. The kick out coming out towards the centre of the field. Sean O'Sullivan gathering the ball for Cremon. Sean O'Sullivan. He'd be a proud man to indeed for to win the county now. Final ball going inside to go forward. Sean O'Sullivan, I think, may launch. It is certainly within his scope with the win. No, he'd take it sharp. He plays it out towards Colin Jai. Colin Jai has the ball looking for Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan slips with the ball in his position. Still Sean O'Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan looking to give it to somebody. He Comes in, he launches a high, high. Come on, Michael Tian has the ball. Tian releasing over to Sean O'Sullivan. The ball picked up inside. Sullivan will kick for the post here. Is it on this way? It should be. It is. 
It's the equaliser and what a game. Oh, and a chance to put him into the lead again. A lead which they held until Ballydon who got that goal some two minutes earlier. Kicking towards the post, right for the kick. Is it on its way? It's gone in. That's a super score from Sean O'Sullivan. Has sent it over the bar. What a score from Bally. Uh, very hard kick for, but indeed for a left footed player, indeed a man of the ability of Sean O'Sullivan. He could pose it in her own square. Sean O'Sullivan with the chance again for Cremon to give them a two point advantage. Sean O'Sullivan throwing it up, has it the accuracy. It goes across, it's gone over the bar. That's a fantastic score by Sean O'Sullivan. The man from Cremon has put it over the bar and gives Cremon back a two point lead. 11 points to two goals and three. Cremon really have come to life since Bally done who've got that goal. As we said, 28 and a half minutes gone. Out to Sean O'Sullivan again. He picks it up again. Ball has gone loose.